So now that you have watched the um, lecture on the epic, the folk and literary epic, let's take a look at what this means for our adventure with Paradise Lost. I'm looking at the first stanza of book one. And so I want you to think about um, the invocation, the call for divine assistance, the statement of theme, and how those things might show up here. So let's take a look. Of man's first disobedience, and the fruit of that forbidden tree, whose mortal taste brought death into the world and all our woe, with loss of Eden, till one greater man restore us and regain the blissful seat, sing, heavenly muse, that on the secret top of Oreb or of Sinai didst inspire that shepherd who first taught the chosen seed. So, immediately I notice that this poem is going to be Whoopsie, I'm trying to draw here and I can't seem to be able to do that. There we go. It's going to be, what is the poem going to be about? Man's first disobedience and the fruit that he ate that made death start all our problems and made us lose Eden until Jesus restored us to heaven, the blissful seat. And then we get this sing heavenly muse. The heavenly muse here is the divine assistance that our um, poet is calling is is asking for. So sing heavenly muse that on the top of on the secret top of Oreb or of Sinai didst inspire that shepherd Jesus, who first taught the chosen seed in the beginning how the heavens and earth rose out of chaos. Or if Sion hill delight thee more and Siloah's brook that flowed fast by the oracle of God, I thence invoke thy aid to my adventurous song. So here again is that call for divine assistance from the Holy Spirit, so that no middle flight intends to soar above the Aeonian Mount, while it pursues things unattempted yet in prose or rhyme. And thou, and chiefly thou, O Spirit, so again we get a call to, uh, oops, we get the call to the Holy Spirit, and chiefly thou, O spirit, that dost prefer before all temples the upright heart and pure, instruct me, for thou knowest. And this is one of the most beautiful, oh my God, beautiful moments in literature. For thou knowest, thou from the first wast present, and with mighty wings outspread, dove-like, satst brooding on the vast abyss, and madest it pregnant. Ha! I just love it. What in me is dark, illumine. What is low, raise in support, that to the height of this great argument I may assert eternal providence and justify the ways of God to men. And there we have our final um, convention, and that is the statement of theme. What am I going to do? I'm going to justify the ways of God to men. So once again, we have the invocation in yellow, we have the call for divine assistance in pink, and then we have the divine, or I'm sorry, the um, epic um, statement of theme in green.